My name is Alan Prosser. Um, I'm the owner of the of ABC Fish and Tackle, and uh, here I am. <laughs> well, the store was opened here in 1943 uh, during the war, and uh, it didn't open as a fishing store at all. It, my uh, sister-in-law, she started up here as a news agent. And one day, an old fella came in here with a pile of fishing gear, and she was always wanting to have a go. And she bought it, and she put it in that window over there, and it sold. And so she phoned the wholesale and repeated, and that's how it started. I got into fishing through the store, really. I mean, uh, I was never a fisherman as such at all. I was in the, the Royal Navy for 12 years, and uh, then I worked all over the world for 35 years, and I retired in uh, 1988 and came back here. And my sister-in-law died very suddenly, and my wife said to me, um, will you come and work with me? I said, well, I'll come and help you for the summer. So it's been a very long summer, <laughs> 30, almost 32 years, yeah. Primarily, uh, we try today, as we always have, to treat people as we would like people to treat us. And I think that pays off. We like to have a bit of a laugh with the customers and interact with the customers, not just plain and boring, just here, take what you need, goodbye. Like, we like to actually have a full-on conversation with someone about what they're going to be doing, what they're fishing for, what they're going to be doing after this. And like, that's, that's really what we thrive for in here. Like, people my age wouldn't be interested in fishing. And a lot of them actually haven't even touched the waters when it comes to fishing. Again, fishing is a major hobby and it's definitely something you should take up because it's, it's something that takes you away from all the social media platforms and all that and gets you into actual something that actually has a skill to it. Do I think more people should be doing it? Yeah. Well, it'd be very good for businesses if they did. <laughs> yeah, I think from that perspective, yeah, certainly. <laughs> when I was a child, I used to come in here and just literally, the first thing I did would be bolting back to the back of the shop and raiding the maggot fridge and just playing with the maggots for like a day. And like, again, most kids would be doing other, something other than that, but I, that's, that was my everyday Saturday, coming down here as a child. And uh, I really, like again, for a childhood to have in here is amazing. I, th I think it was definitely one of the best experiences I've ever had. Everyone has mixed opinions saying don't work with family, but I think for us it's been, been really, really good. You know, we have such a great relationship with our, with our grandfather and we're just really, really close to the family. Like again, it's, it's, it's quite a funny experience like working with your own grandfather because like most, again, most people wouldn't get that chance. But if, for me to have that chance, I think it's quite amazing because like most people wouldn't actually have a bond with their grandfather such as myself and himself do and I think again it's, it's something worth cherishing for. Penny, Penny is, there she is, there she is, there she is, there's my here Penny, this is Penny and uh, she was given to me as a Christmas present five years ago uh, primarily for my granddaughter and uh, she's the best present I ever got and she, it's the only girlfriend I've got left. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't answer back. <laughs> and she really is a very lovable thing. I had some doubts at the time because, you know, being my age and being thinking of the dog, but she's been, uh, been marvellous, yeah. Have you? There she is there. Look at it, look at it. Look at that fat belly on it. <laughs> it is, it's more just, it's just a new, very unique experience coming in here. Like, there's loads of fishing shops, no doubt, but there's just something in here that's quite special. And the fact that it's family owned as well, there's so few of them that are family owned. And you have like our, me and my brother, my, my father as well, and obviously my grandfather with his, his war, his war stories of no doubt everyone's heard as well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. Hopefully, I think the ABC Fish and Tackle will continue on for again the next couple of generations. I hope so. Like I like again, I really want this business to thrive and continue on because again. It's not just us who rely on it, it's actually quite a lot of people within the community and in the area that rely on the shop and have been coming to the shop for donkey's years. And I think if we did let go of the shop, I think we'd disappoint a lot of people within the area. And again, I don't want that. I want to keep people happy and keep the actual tradition going with the with shop. It'd be a shame if it didn't go, keep going I mean, after all these years, but you know, one has to face facts and it may not be possible for that to happen. So we'll have to wait and see. I think the main thing that's kept us going is, again, us like family together. Uh, 
himself as an actual like he's a, the main face of the business and that, I think that's what keeps us going because he's within the area if you walk past anyone within the area people recognize him instantly and they'd be like oh Jesus yeah ABC fish snack or whatever and that's what really makes him stand there because again the big fluffy beard Santa Claus look like and that's that's really what makes him stand out big time in my 90s now and I've no I, there's no way I can retire what keeps me going is that I, I just can't give up. I just have to go. So I, I normally am up at five every morning and I just get on with it. And by the end of the day, I'm banjoed. <laughs> so I go, go to bed and the next morning off we go again. You see? He's amazing, you know. We really do, like, business aside, you know, we really do come in here just for him. Like, he's just, he's an incredible man to have. We're very, very lucky to have him. And I think he's going to outlive us all, to be honest with you. Do you know the secret of a long life? The secret of a long life, now this is between you and I, is to keep breathing. Because <laughs> if you stop, you're in trouble. <laughs>